BBC analysis has found that the waters around the UK have had their warmest start to the year since records began. And it's all because of climate change. But what are the consequences? Here's our climate editor, Justin Rowlett. Heather Hamilton and her dad, David, are keen snorkelers. They've been going out into the seas around Cornwall virtually every week since Heather was a little girl. But in recent years, they have seen some big changes. Huge blooms of these jellyfish-like creatures called salps, for example. They're normally rare in UK waters. When you're above the water, you'd have no idea that they're even there. And as soon as your head goes submerged underwater, you're seeing these big chains, um, almost glowing slightly, uh, almost like fairy lights is the way I'd explain it, uh, kind of just swirling through the current, connecting with one another. Um, but yeah, it just felt very kind of out of this world, something I've never seen before. And then there are the octopuses, hundreds of them. I've been snorkeling 30 odd years. I've never seen an octopus. I saw my first one last summer for the very first time and with Heather this this was it May or June we saw uh, yeah end of May I end think. of May, May we entered a special spot of ours and we saw about 10 of them absolutely amazing creatures what? out in open water there are some even more dramatic sights <laughs> this was filmed off the coast of Cornwall last week Dozens of bluefin tuna are feeding. They started appearing in our waters about 10 years ago. Bluefin tuna can grow to up to three metres long and weigh more than half a tonne. Two local lads, Harry Polkinghorne and his friend Ollie Hayes, have been fishing together for the last five years and posting online videos of what they catch and see. Just take a look at this. This is when we were filming off land zone. It was just absolutely incredible. God, that is a huge fish. <laughs> I think you can see it taking a garfish. Yeah, you? absolutely. Yeah, it just came straight out the water, the whole fish. Sometimes you'll just get one come up, and then other times when they find a big shoal of bait fish, you'll see one, then two, and then suddenly a thousand will just appear out of nowhere, circle them, and they close in, eat them all, and then they all disappear again. And it's, it's just incredible. And that's not all. Down here in the southwest, there are increasing reports of sightings of humpback whales and even fin whales, the world's second biggest whale species. Some scientists are saying it's like a canary in the mine, pointing the direction to the kind of changes we can expect to see around the UK's coasts as our climate continues to change. These floating sensors are being loaded onto the UK's main ocean monitoring vessel, the Endeavour. They take all sorts of measurements, including temperature. From the, the monitoring and the, and the surveillance that we have, we can see that the seas are warming. We're also seeing heat waves coming through now. So what used to be a sort of a, a one in every 10 years event, we're now seeing almost every year. And the fish and the animals that live around the UK are changing in response to that. We're getting warm water things like squid and anchovy and um, even things like triggerfish coming in from the south. But warming seas don't just bring new species. The whelk fishermen of Whitstable have seen the impact this kind of marine heat wave can have firsthand. We knew there was something wrong then. If you put a pot anywhere shallower than about 10 metres in depth, you just weren't catching anything. Fisherman Ben Cooper's whelks are processed in a factory in Kings Lynn and exported to Korea. Catches had always been good until 2022. Then sea temperatures in the Thames estuary went above 20 degrees Celsius for more than 60 days. There was a massive die-off of whelks. After sort of two or three months of abysmal catches, we just thought, look, we've got to do something now, otherwise we're just going backwards too quickly and so we, we ended up selling one of the boats. There has been some recovery since but Ben is worried. We've become so reliant on the whelks because because everything else has disappeared. It's, it's a shame it's come to that but I think uh, yeah no whelks, no fishermen in Whitstall. It is a warning that while warming seas may sometimes bring exciting new species to our shores they can also damage marine ecosystems and the human livelihoods that depend on them. Justin Rowlatt, BBC News, Cornwall.